What's up guys? Welcome back to BYB Tactical and today we are going to talk about Bravo concealment holsters. So uh, stay tuned. What's up guys, Esteban here again with a hopefully great review. Uh, we're gonna talk about Bravo Concealment Holsters. It's a company based out of Alamo, Texas. Uh, the owner, Renee, on a daily basis puts out um, inspirational stuff, EDC stuff, or him working out in his, I think, personal gym, which looks pretty badass. Uh, definitely check it out. Again, Bravo Concealment Holsters on Facebook, Instagram. Um, they're not sponsoring this video. This is everything I've bought over the years. This is my personal. Um, hopefully they see this, maybe they can send me some good stuff. Just kidding, but not kidding. Um, anyways, let's get down to brass tacks. Uh, just so you know what you're buying and how much it's costing you and see if it's worth it for you. So right here I have in waistband and out of waistband. So two out of waistbands and two in waistbands. Holsters, um, which the out of waistband and in the waistband either runs you about $42.99, something around there. So $42 and some change. Um, but you also have the option of doing the BOGO, which is the buy one and get one free for $52.99. Um, I would strongly recommend for the BOGO one, you could have two choices, either the in waistband, or two in waistbands or two out of waistbands. I strongly recommend if you do get the out of waistband, get the paddle attachments, which runs you about 18 and some change. And I would definitely say the paddle adjustments, it would be nice if they were made included, but I get it. It is a special modification because um, originally when you get it, they come with belt clips that are pretty much like if you're in a place like where I'm at, for example, Illinois, some places allow you to carry, some places don't. So you constantly have to, you know, either take it off or, you know, put it back on. So this makes it so much quicker to just put in your pants, take it out if you're somewhere like that or whatever. You don't even want to wear it. Um, definitely get the paddle adjustment. So. At around $71 and some change, you could pretty much get two holsters um, and the paddle attachments. That's only if you get the out of waistband. If you're not into that stuff and you just want in waistband, you could pretty much get two in waistband holsters for uh, $52.99, roughly something like that. Um, so right here, the two models I have is the Smith & Wesson MP40, uh, which I just got back from Floyd's Custom Shop. I will be putting a video up about them good stuff uh, but definitely look forward to that video and I have my full-size p320 uh, I did have some issues with both the out of waistband and waistband for the p320 uh, I'll talk about it later on but honestly it was pretty much a mistake on my on my by my on my own but you know there's a way you can get around it to where you could fix it so we'll talk about that later um, but what makes these holsters special so as you can see, they're pretty adjustable for cant and ride. Uh, now what cant means is pretty much like how it's facing on your body like that or like that and ride on how high you want it to be. So like, for example, this is where the belt, where you would set it on the belt and that's how high it would be on you. So they're really adjustable. Um, Kydex holsters and the other thing I really like about them is the price. I mean, for $52, you're getting two holsters. So essentially, let's just round it up a little bit. So maybe $53. You're looking at about $26 a holster. Now, if you've been looking for holsters anytime this past year or anything like that, you know Kydex holsters are very expensive. So how are they able to market it this low in price and this good quality is beyond me, but they got good stuff. And so what, again, what makes them special is I get the, adjustment, the adjustments of it, which is the right and the cant. They do have a 10 degree cant. Um, and what that pretty much means is you see how it kind of curves in here? That's meant, I don't know if you could see that, hopefully you can. That's pretty much meant to hug your body. So it, it goes around your waist. Um, and yeah, so you could also have attachments like for magazines. Um, these are pretty much, they have other stuff, uh, Bravo Consume, like for AR magazines and a few other things, but this is all I really need. So you have what you call the dual magazine. So you can have two magazines and as you see, I put the paddle adjustments on this as well. Or you could have the uh, single one, which is it's probably all gonna crumble right now. I did my best to make this look nice and it's probably all gonna fall, but whatever. So here you go, you got this one. So again, this is my full size P320. Now, if you don't have a full size gun or you're looking at getting one, but you're worried about concealability, 
this stuff is concealable as hell. This thing like really wraps around me. You can't even tell I have it on. I'll be showing how I do it in a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, the concealability of these holsters are, are superior. They're up there. Now, let's talk about why I had an issue with the P320 though when I got it. So, the P320 has a red dot. As you can see, this is the P320 RX. Um, when I first got the holster, it was pretty much up to right here. I don't know if you can see that. And I, pretty much my red dot was not going in. So, it was an issue. I did, it was, did it for both. So, all I did was, the first time around, I melted it to like with a lighter or whatever, which took me a long time because this Kydex, uh, pretty much a harder and more durable plastic. And it took me a while, but I got it to finally sit. So now it sits in both, you know, my, uh, ooh, put it in the room. There you go. I don't know why I got stuck right there. I wasn't looking at it right. So here you go. So it fits in my out of waistband now. Do you notice how I kind of left a little bit of a gap right there? You know, just to make sure it's not hitting the glass. And now it also fits my in waistband, which I do want to show we are being gun friendly. There's absolutely nothing. It's chambered, it's cleared and whatnot. Um, so yeah. And then on top of that, if you do have a P320, I don't know if you know this, but it's starting to become like the most, like one of the most modificate, modification guns along with like, you know, the Glock 19 or the Smith & Wesson MP series. So I did put the paddle adjustment on this P320, which makes a huge difference if you're into it, it really does like help you with the recoil absorber and whatnot and believe it or not it fits in these holsters which i don't even think they know at bravo concealment that their model that they made originally actually does fit the gas pedal that's what this is called the gas pedal so if you're into that if you're looking for a holster that can fit the gas pedal you know these do a good job and I also got another holster called with works um, and they were made for the flashlight and the gas pedal. So they work as well. I put a, I'll put a review about that as well. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to cut and then I'm going to try to see how I, how it looks in my belt and stuff like that. And you guys be the judge of it. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, back to the top. So I really didn't know how to film this video. I didn't want to just zoom into my waist and you know, for the next two or three or four minutes, you're just staring at my crotch. So hopefully this works. Uh, if you think this is a better view or yeah, just like and comment. Um, before we continue though, please like and subscribe and hit the bell at the very bottom so you get notifications for future videos. So first configuration I'm gonna try is the magazine attachment to the P320 full size holster. Um, this is pretty much the one I use on the daily and uh, super, like I said, easy. And like I said earlier, as far as for full size, the concealability for this holster is extreme. Like it's superior for sure. So um, yeah, sorry. Also future reference for this video, you are gonna see a lot of my gut. I am sorry. I'm working on it. I'm working on getting it down, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. So here you go. This is how it looks. This is how I would wear it. And I am wearing a very uh, thin material shirt. Um, just so it kind of points out the flaws in terms of your body and whatnot. Uh, it's not like a hundred percent cotton where it's kind of chunkier, so you won't really see it. This is really thin material, so here you go. This is how it looks from the side. Um, but yeah, super concealable, super efficient. Um, you know, as far as drawing, undrawing, you know, good stuff. You know, I, the thing I like about these holsters too is like you hear it, you know, click out. You also hear it click. And that's how you know it's in place. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, yeah. So the second configuration I'm gonna show you guys is the uh, Smith & Wesson MP40 with the dual magazine. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Here we go. So here is the Smith & Wesson MP40. Um, this gun is customized by Floyd's Custom Shop. I will be putting a video up of those guys. They did a great job with this firearm. I mean, it just, it looks badass. I don't know how else to say it. Um, so look out for that video. And then here is the dual magazine. Uh, so it's out of waistband. Like I said, if you really wanted to, like you were dead set on having a dual magazine, I would recommend doing in waistband. It's just better for concealability. So here you go. This is how it looks. Um, yeah, you guys be the judge. All right. And again, super efficient. Super efficient on the draw. Um, feels good as far as in your body. It's not tugging or pulling or 
you know, snapping your, you know, if you're a hairy guy like myself, I had a holster before where it would snap my hairs. It's not doing that. It's good stuff on this holster. So the second option is going to be the Smith & Wesson um, out of waistband and the dual mag um, out of waistband. So let's try that out. Sorry, my earpiece is getting away a little bit. Just gotta adjust it just a tad. So here is the out of waistband. Now for out of waistband, it depends on how you like to carry. I know guys like to carry on their, you know, three o'clock position with the out of waistband. I know guys that like to carry it uh, one o'clock out of waistband, which I will say I've tried at the range where I carry this right here. Super comfortable. I mean, it feels great. I don't know how to explain it, especially where you're doing transitions from AR to um, handgun, AR to handgun, back to AR. It's like super efficient. I don't know how to explain it. You kind of have to see footage of it, but yeah, here you go. So this is out of waistband, ready to go, you know, magazine, boom. I'm not gonna do it here. I'm not gonna make noise and hurt my floor, <laughs> but yeah. So you guys be the judge. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. And please, again, like and subscribe and hit the bell at the bottom. So therefore you get notifications for future videos. And until next time.